What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a high rank meta team featuring Tyranitar on the Regulation E ladder. You guys are in a deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, get on out of here. I don't want you here. I'm just playing around. Love all my viewers, but definitely consider subscribing. It only takes two seconds of you guys' time. But the first Pokemon that we're going to talk about on today's team is going to be Hisuian Arcanine. Like I said, this is a meta team, so you're going to be seeing a lot of very strong Pokemon that you guys seen plenty of times before in the past. But Arcanine is the first Pokemon with Intimidate and the Citrus Berry. It's Rock and Rock Slide with Howl for that plus one attack boost for you and your ally Pokemon, and then Will-O-Wisp and Flare Blitz for its final two moves. In our second slot, we got Choice Specs Flutter Me with Protosynthesis and a Fairy Terror type. This thing can do some crazy damage, especially Thrasilizing in the Fairy using Dazzling Gleam or Moonblast. It also has Psy Shock and Shadow Ball for another two moves to kind of cover the, uh, the range of types in this game. Iron Bundle is going to be our third Pokemon, and every time I use Iron Bundle, it's always thriving out. It's top tier in speed, it's top tier in special attack, combine both of those, it's really just rocking out in most battles. It has Quark Drive with the Boost Energy, Rock and Protect, Freeze Dry, Hydro Pump, and Icy Wind for a bit of speed control on this team. In our fourth slot, we got Rillaboom right here, and ever since Rillaboom learned Grass Guide, it went back into the top tier category. It's got Grassy Surge with the Miracle Seed, Woodhammer, Grass Guide, Fake Out, and Taunt. Very strong Pokemon right here. Komo O is in our fifth slot with Bulletproof and Leftovers. This one's not your normal Clangor Soul stat boost kind of go from there. This one's more of an Iron Defense and just bulk out or out bulk all the uh, physical attacking Pokemon. So the three moves consist of Protect, Iron Head, and Body Press to do more damage every time you get those defense boosts. Final Pokemon is going to be Tyranitar, and I absolutely love this Pokemon since I'm one of my favorite pseudo legendaries of all time, and every time I see it, I always want to use it. It's got Sandstream for weather control with the Assault Vest as item, Rock and Rock Slide, Tyra Blast, Knock Off, and Low Kick. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that regulation need ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Tyranitar team. First match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a of Rulege and Mammoth Swine team in match number one. They also have King Gambit, they got Roar Moon, which is a super powerful Pokemon, Gyarados, and last but not least, Sinistra. Not gonna lie, Iron Bundle is going to be awesome here, so I'm going to end up leading this Pokemon. really like it, and I might end up leading it with Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom is going to be great for a lead, Fake Out Easter is going to be awesome, and then we can bring Titar and either Fluttermane or Arcanine in the back end. I like Fluttermane with the choice specs, it's going to be able to do some big damage on a lot of different Pokemon, but Arcanine with Intimidate? Not too bad. A lot of physical attackers, I know they have Defiant, but I just like its typing as well. With the Rock move, it's going to be super effective onto the Gyarados. You got moves that are going to be super effective onto the King Gambit, the Cerule Edge, the Mammoth Swine, and even the Sinistra. Yeah, Arcanine has great typing up against a lot of these guys. Yeah, Flare Blitz is going to be super effective onto the Sinistra, the Mammoth Swine, and the King Gambit. And then Rock moves are going to be super effective onto the Gyarados and the Cerule Edge. And most likely, if... The Roar and Moon terrestrializes, it's going to be a flying terror type. So, we'll be super effective on that. So, Arcanine's going to be great. Especially with Intimidate, a lot of physical attackers. We just got to watch out for Defiant King Gambit. That's a little bit of a problem. That's why I brought it more so as a back end Pokemon. Try to get rocking with that. But I like your lead of Rillaboom and Iron Bundle. Iron Bundle is just so powerful. I can get some speed control. I can hit hard turn one. A lot of different options. A lot of different options we can actually go into here. We shall see the lead. I have T-Tar on the scene. Love T-Tar. This its design is just top tier, right? Ever since he came out in Gen 2. T-Tar. Been a go. He's been a go. He's, he's, he's been a go and he, he will always be a go in the Pokemon world. But they're gonna end up leading Cerulege and the King Gambo. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I might have to uh swap my Rillaboom. Especially up against these two. But I could just go. Hmm, what can I do with Iron Bundle? Because. It's actually a really rough lead for us. We I mean, definitely want to fake out the King Gambit, right? I think I'll just try to drop a Hydro Pump. Yeah, right? Might as well. Might as well. Hopefully it doesn't terrestrialize into grass. Hopefully we can just rip into it with this, uh... With this, what's called right here? With this Hydro Pump, just get rid of it. That'd be big time, but actually their lead's pretty solid up against ours. Two Pokemon that I didn't really see them leading, right? They let them. Pretty smart on their end. So I have fake out ready to go. Um, 
This Rule Edge is looking kind of scary here, right? Could do some big time damage all around. It might bulk up this turn, which could be annoying. But again, I'm hoping it's really just not Thrasalizing. And it's not going to Thrasalize, which is massive. That works. That works for me. Fake Out's going to get blocked. Can we just land his Hydro Pump? Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed for the Hydro Pump. Put him up. Bang. Big time Hydro Pump. Landing on this Rule Edge and not taking it out. Get on out of here. It bulks up. Um, I can Grassy Glide into that. So I kind of like that. And he's just going to go for the bulk up. The Grassy Glide should KO that, right? Should KO that. And why are you getting... Oh, okay. I was going to say, why are you getting two streams of HP? And that's because of the terrain. But I mean, we are in the terrain. I think I might just... I don't want to Icy win. I think I'm just going to freeze try. Or you know what? I'm going to go for a Hydro Pump at the King Gambit. Let's try to do as much damage as we can. And again, Grassy God should KO this Rule Edge. Who might protect this turn? It might not. I don't really know what it's going to do. But I'm going for the Hydro Pump into the King Gambit slot. Again, fingers crossed for the Hydro Pump. Dude. Hydro Pump, when it lands, it's so clutch. But when it misses, it's, it's rough. So he ends up just going for a nice little protect here. That's fine. I maybe should have swapped the Rule Boom there. That should have been the play all day. Swapping Rule Boom. All day it should have been the play. But still, we're going to land another Hydro Pump. I love you. I love you. Getting off some big time damage. Probably going to die out here to this Iron Head. That's all good. Actually, no, you're not. Lovely. Lovely. <clears throat> so from here, I mean, he could Sucker Punch. He could and that. That could be bad if you Sucker Punch. That could be bad if you Sucker Punch. Um... Do I maybe just hard swap into T Tar here? No, you know what? We're just gonna go for. We're just gonna go for the Hydro Pump in this Rule Edge slot. And I'm just gonna hard swap into T Tar here. A nice hard swap going into T Tar. Um. Let's see what he ends up doing here. He's gonna end up terrasalizing. I was gonna throw the free try over there just in case terrasalize. But his HP was so low, I was sitting there thinking, hey, he's probably not gonna terrasalize. But there it is. I should have popped the free try. I should have popped the free try. I should have popped it. I should have popped the free try. The Sark Punch is gonna come out here. We end up dying to that. And I think he just goes for a bitter blade, so he's not gonna get back crazy HP. But it is going to be able to fly out here. Wow, it actually does a decent chunk of damage. So, um, I could go Arcanine here if I want to. And I think I should go Arcanine here. And just intimidate him, right? Yeah, I'm going to bring out Arcanine here. So we still have Robo in the back end. These guys are giving us a tough time on the lead. King Gambit's going to get back some HP. Arcanine's got to be in here. I know we're going to pop Defiant. But with our speed and all that, I think we just we go for it. Plus, we can bring this range down a little bit. So, I'm going to Intimidate. I'll proc the Defiant, no problem. He could Sucker Punch me if he wants to. I don't really see it doing any crazy damage. But I think from here, we just pop a Flare Blitz. We know you're probably Flash Fired through Edge, so we're going to go after King Gambit. And I think we just go for a Rock Slide. I mean, Rock Slide, is it going to KO this through Edge? Hopefully, it does. It would be nice. I mean, I still have Terra. I could go Psychic Terra, but honestly, I don't like that. I'm just going to pop a Rock Slide. King Gambit's going to go for a Sucker Punch before it goes out. And oh my lord, the damage is absurd. It's so absurd. The damage is absurd from King Gambit. Boy, Butts is going to KO it. Get it on out of here. And is Titar going to go before Cerule Edge? I kind of hope it does. It might not, though. I don't think it's going to. I'm hoping it does, but I don't think it's going to. It does. Beautiful. Rockside comes out here. Does not KO. Can we get a flinch chance? No, and he goes for another bulk up. I don't, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. So we know we're both out speeding him. I'm kind of curious to see what Pokemon they go into. We're going to get back a little bit of HP, but I'm really hoping we can just double Rockside and pick up some KOs. We know he's going to protect this turn. We know for a fact he's going to protect this turn. Being rather annoying. Being so annoying. Definitely protecting. He has flash fire, so I can't just hit him with a fire move, which is very upsetting. Very upsetting. 
I mean, Buffets are helping us out, chip up a little bit, but Sledge, that Pokemon's so good. Especially when it sets up like that. It kind of threw me off when he was able to soak up the Hydro Pump. That was, that was rough for us. But Gyarados is now going to come out. He's going to Intimidate us. That's a big time Intimidate. Not going to sugarcoat it. That's a big time Intimidate. Big, big time Intimidate. So from here, I mean, I can how I could go Water Terror too, and I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm just going to go Water Terror, Howl, and then on top of that, just go into Rock Slide, right? Yeah, I'm cool with that. Get, get the attack boost back for the boys. So I'm Water Terroring because I think he is going to go for a Waterfall into my Arcanine slot. I think that's a, I think that's a big time possibility. So I'm just going to hit that Water Terror. I'm gonna go for the Howl, bring our attack stat back up, and drop a big time Rock Slide. So it ends up protecting too, so this could be a solid turn for us. Especially if he's going for Waterfall into the Arcanine slot. So nice Howl comes here. We're gonna bring both of our attack stats up, I believe. Yes. So we're back to normal. And Waterfall into the T-Tar? Ah! Waterfall into the T-Tar? That hurts. That hurts soul. Really does hurt soul. Oh, that really hurts soul. Waterfall into the T-Tar. Why? Why would you do that? Why would you do that? I mean, it worked. It worked perfect. I just really thought it was going into the Arcanine slot. Dang. Dang. So match number one is going to go to our opponent all day here. Match number one is going to our opponent. Probably. Most likely, right? Grass terrain ends, but we're bringing it back out because we don't play around. And... We could just fake out this rule edge. Yeah, it's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fake out this rule edge. Fake out the rule edge and just go for a rock slide. All right, actually, this match ain't over just yet. I mean, Gyarados only really has waterfall to attack with. I like, I kind of like our Pokemon that we have right here. We're gonna see what they do. They might hard swap the Gyarados here, which is a big possibility, right? Big possibility just to hard swap the Gyarados and get Intimidate back up against these two physical attackers. Yep. There goes the Gary. Who's coming in hot here? Gonna be Roaring Moon. Don't like that. Don't like Roaring Moon. Don't like him with pro with uh, booster energy and acrobatics. It is looking mighty scary. Attack boost. Fake out's gonna come out here on the Srule Edge. It's plus two on defense. Rock Slide is gonna end up connecting, which we love. But it's not gonna do enough damage. Rule Edge does get the flinch. We like that. We like that. We like that a lot. So this Rule Edge gets the flinch. Um, is it going to protect here is the real question. Is it going to protect here? Or is he just going to hard swap back into uh, Gyarados? I think that would more so be the play. I think that would more so be the play. You know what I'm hoping here? Because we knew T-Tar out was faster than the, uh, the Cerule Edge at 112. You're at 110, so you should be faster than that Cerule Edge. About the same. I think he might hard swap Boron Moon back into Gyarados. So I'm thinking of just howling, getting that attack boost back up, and just going for a wood hammer here. Just to take out Cerule Edge. No, he ends up protecting. No, we try to make it a big time read, but I think that's what we, what we need to win the game. Because, honestly... I think Acrobatics is just going to outspeed us and KO us here, right? Most likely. Yep. Yep. So we were gone regardless. Regardless, we were gone. So we were just hoping they would swap that turn, send the Intimidate, and then maybe the Woodhammer could KO in the rain. But yeah, we knew this match was kind of over. Tried pulling out the win. That's going to be an L for us in match number one. We start off 0-1. Hate to say it, hate to say it, but not a bad match. Our opponent just played really good. And honestly, that's Cerule Edge surviving on about like 5 HP from a Hydro Pump. Really won him the game. It really did, because I was hoping the Hydro Pump would just delete it. We would get rolling from there. And then we would just have Iron Bundle really just thriving out the rest of the match. But we simply don't. We simply don't. So I'm going to run this one. We're 0 1. Let's go hop to our first or second match and look for our first win. Second match on its way, and it looks like we're going up against a Belly Drum Greedent team. Greedent, you don't really get to see on the rank ladder too much, but whenever, personally, I see it, it's always Belly Drum. So I'm just going to assume it's Belly Drum alongside with the Dust Clubs, right? They also have Fluttermane, they got Competitive Empoleon, and then they got, what is that Pokemon? Heatran and 
King Gambit. I like Iron Bundle here again. King Gambit's always a problem. I think Arcanine's gonna be great here, but I think they're gonna lead Pokemon such as Dusclops, maybe Greedent. So I'm gonna leave Fluttermane here. I think Fluttermane is gonna be solid. It's gonna be great all around. Now I can always just drop Big Time Shadow Ball into that Dusclops if need be. So I'm gonna do that. I'm also going to lead, I think maybe Titar here. I could go home with Titar. I like just having Dark Moves on board. Always good, always good. Plus we can set the Sandstorm. I just like it all around. So you know what? Yeah, we're gonna go T-Tar here. T-Tar has low kick as well, which is great. In the back end, we're gonna bring the Iron Bundle even if they wanna pop the Trick Room. And then finally, Rillaboom or Arcanine? Who do I wanna go here? Rillaboom's not bad, especially first turn priority. If Greedon ends up getting off that belly jump, I would love to just be able to just grass guide if we need like one more hit. Rillaboom's always a solid Pokemon in the back end. But hey, like I said, we're 0-1. We got to win this match. We got to win this match. This rule edge got the best of us in match number one. So we're here trying to get after it, trying to pop off, trying to pop off. All right, let's see. Here you got. Oh, you got a Pikachu match. That's pretty dope. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Dust Cops and Greedy come out here. So Belly Jump Trick Room, obviously an option. Could protect this turn too. Could definitely protect. I think we just double down into the Dust Cops here. We go Shadow Ball and we go Knock Off, right? You ain't protecting. You could Terrasilize. You could Terrasilize. But you might not Terrasilize, which we would love. Green it, looking scary. Probably going to set up that Belly Drum. As long as we can have some speed over top of it, I, I like it. I like it, right? I know it's rocking a Berry and it has, I think it's called Pouch Cheeks. Is that, is that an ability? I think you get more HP from your berries. But you better not be Terrasilizing this Dust Cops. That's all I ask. That's all it is. You can do whatever you want besides Terrasilize that Dust Cops. And I like that. I like that. You didn't Terrasilize Dust Cops any protected to greet it. Now we get off a big time Shadow Ball. Bop. And knock off. Can you finish us off, Titar? My guy, let's go. Stopping what they're planning so big, especially when you stop tricking like that. So Greedent went for the protect. We picked the KO on the Dust Cops. No belly drums up. We're not dealing with it. We're not dealing with it. We got T-Tar out on the field, ripping after it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Yeah, if they would have Terrasilized there into pretty much any other typing, they would have survived. Any other typing besides Ghost. And, but why would you have Ghost on Dust Cops? They would have survived, and they probably would have been thriving with Trick and, and, and Belly Jump next turn. Would have been scary. Would have been terrifying. But yeah, Greedent. You don't really see it too much on the Rank Ladder. It's all about the Belly Jumps. That's the only time I ever see it on the Rank Ladder. But Napoleon now comes out here, and I have low kick. Could just low kick, but I'm gonna end up terrasilizing. Oh no, I'm choice. I'm choice into Shadow Ball. So I'm gonna Shadow Ball this slot, and. Do I just Rock Slide? I could Rock Slide. You know what? I'm gonna knock off Greedian's Berry. Taking that right off. We're not allowing that. We, we just simply won't allow that berry to be here. I'm gonna Shadow Ball, get off some nice damage onto Napoleon. I'm gonna say, Ayo, Greedian, your berry, it's gone. You're not, you're not holding that. Titch's Berry's gone. Flash Cannon's gonna come out here. Can you survive that Fluttermane? You do. Lovely. And out comes your Belly Drum. And you don't have your Berry anymore. So now you're just... Now you're just sitting on 1 HP. That's cool. And Buffett's by KO here. That'd be awesome. We'll, bu we'll buff his KO the Greed It. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. So the Greed It pretty much just killed itself. <laughs> Yo, T-Tar's killing it. T-Tar's killing it in this match. Taking out Dust Cops, taking out Citrus Berries. And now Heatran comes out here and they still have Terra, but I mean, we're just gonna rip Shadow Ball. Yeah, we're gonna rip Shadow Ball into the Empoleon slot and I'm gonna double down into Empoleon. I'm just gonna look to get rid of it and they cancel battle. So match two, rather quick, we make up for our loss in match number one. We're one and one. Let's go grab ourselves a winning record in match number three. Final match on its way. Would love to grab ourselves a win here, but this one is definitely looking tough. Back to Caliber, Rillaboom, Dragonite, Iron Bundle, Tornadus, and Chiyu. That team is stacked. The definition of stacked right there. But we got a nice little meta team ourselves. Hopefully we can just outplay them and kind of go from there. But I can see him leading Tornadus, right? Speed control, huge factor. Might want to lead Iron Bundle to kind of take some speed control of our own. I could go in with Rillaboom if I want to. Rest Guide's going to be awesome. It's going to be lovely. Just hoping they're not going to lead to you. And in that case, I might just go in with T-Tar. I might just lead to T-Tar. T of the Tars. And then bring Rillaboom in the back end. Yeah. So we'll lead T-Tar again here. 
Um, Arcanine or Fluttermane as our last Pokemon. Fluttermane's gonna be great because it's a bit faster, but Arcanine's great because of Intimidate. And it's typing so that's super effective onto a few of these guys. Mmm. I'm gonna go Fluttermane, man. You can't go wrong with Fluttermane. You really cannot go wrong with Fluttermane. Super effective onto the Baxcalibur, onto the Dragonite. I just like it. And it's pretty neutral and can hit hard onto the rest of the Pokemon, especially. Say if I'm Terrasalizing in Fairy type, ripping with Moonblast. That thing just hitting like a truck. It's hitting like a truck. I end up going Tornadus and Baxcalibur. Iron Bundle and T-Tar is going to pop here for us. Um, Rock Slide, we're definitely popping Rock Slides. And do I start throwing Icy Winds out here? I mean, I got Booster Energy with Speed, which is gorgeous. It is gorgeous. But I think I think I am going to pop Icy Winds. Just a little bit of Icy Wind, just get some speed going. And then Rock Slide's beautiful, super effective on the booth. We're, dro we're dropping it. We're throwing it right onto our opponent. So I can see him tailwinding. Um, I can see Baxcalibur maybe being loaded dice. Maybe going for some Icicle Spears. Something along those lines. And we actually outspeed already. And wow, that Icy Wind did a huge chunk of damage to that Tornadus. And so I'm just going for EQ without Terrasalizing Ground. So that's fine by me. I mean, it does a nice chunk of damage, but Rock Slide might be able to pick up double KO. Almost double KO. But we get rid of Tornadus, which is massive. Uh, we know Iron Bundle's outspeeding the back caliber, which is huge. And can buff its KO? Can we get another buff of KO in today's video? No, so close. So close. <laughs> I could, uh, do I have double protect? I could double protect here. Um, you could Grassy Glide me. That is an option. I think Grassy Glide KO is my Iron Bundle, regardless of my Terror or not. Um... It could just waste out a Tailwind turn, right? Yeah, and have Baxcalibur die out. I'm really cool with that. I'm really cool with that. Uh, so Baxcalibur's gonna die regardless. We kinda just wanna use the move. We could actually Terrastalize. But I'm actually just gonna knock off Rillaboom's item if I can. And they're gonna end up Terrastalizing. So they have Terrastalizing Baxcalibur here? Yeah, into ground. Yep, into ground. Smart play. I wish I had protect on my T Tar, but I don't. The ground's gonna come out here, giving him a little bit more life here. But EQ's not gonna do as much damage. Grass God is gonna come in the slot. Can we eat up this EQ? I know he's terrestrializing for the boost, but we still have terrain out here. No, he's going for ice and crash instead. Yeah, we die out to that. Okay. Kinda hurts. That's a big time terror, because Buffets were gonna KO it. Um, okay. So Rillaboom's a little bit of a threat here, right? I mean I could bring out Rillaboom of my own. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give us another turn here. Just trying to waste out Tailwind, because if I could fake out the Rillaboom and then maybe just Icy Wind. That's the play all day. Because then I can protect, I can waste out Tailwind again and then just play it slow. Play it real slow. Yeah, because there's two turns left in Tailwind. I can fake out Robum here. Robum's really the only threat on the field. I mean, the terrain's just annoying me. So we're just going to fake it out. We're going to make it flinch. We're going to pop an Icy Wind, and this should pick up KO off the back of Calibre and do some nice damage on the Robum. Beautiful. And slowing it down at the same time. Yeah, it's a nice big slowdown. Nice big slowdown. We still have Fluttermane in the back end. We still have our Terra. I'm probably saving it for Fluttermane's big damage with the uh, with the Fairy Terra type, right? Makes the most sense. And how many turns are left in Tailwind? Or not Tailwind, uh, Terrain. Probably three, right? I think it's one turn behind Tailwind. The three turns definitely left. Probably two now. Um, probably just want to protect the Iron Bundle as he goes into Dragonite. Dragonoid. Dragonite comes out here. Um... Yeah, protect hands down is our play. And I'm just gonna grass guide and get rid of uh, multi scale if you have it. 
Go protect the iron bundle again. We're hoping another grass guy's coming after it. That'd be lovely. No, it's not. But at least we get off multi scale. Aerial Ace coming hot here and whew, the damage out there. At least you can U turn as well. Well, this is your last Pokemon, so you can't U turn into anybody. Into Not a Soul. The buffets are going to fly through here. Um, I have Flutterman, which I love. I love Flutter. And he's just going to Grass Glide. Absurd. Grass Glide's annoying me. He's definitely just Grass Glide. I should have saved our protect. Should have just saved our protect. We should we should have made the read that he that he knew we were protect, protecting. And I'm gonna go for double protect because what's called it's dead regardless. Iron bundle's dead regardless. Now it turns to a two v two. Um, I'm gonna go for double protect no problem. Um, I'm gonna terrestrialize you into straight fairy. And I think from here we just try to just moon blast and get rid of. Who do I get rid of here? How many turns are left in the terrain? Let's let's make sure it's one first and foremost. It's two. It is two. Oh, that's bad. I mean, we still should go for no protect. And then terrestrialize you, and maybe just go after Dragonite, or just Dragonite gonna terrestrialize. I think this should be able to take out Robum unless he's bested. So I think I'm just gonna go after. I think I'm just gonna go after Robum here. Because if I could take out Robum, that would be huge. Especially if I landed all protect. But Dragonite in the first turn priority moves with Grass Guy just. It's doing us bad right now. It's doing us so bad. We don't end up landing double protect. That sucks. I can never do this. And Grass Guy's gonna take us out. The Grass Guy comes across here. Um, I wonder if he's choice into aerial ease. I really do wonder. We're out speeding him, which is gorgeous. Can this Moon Blast KO? I think it should. Choice Specs, Sab, all the boosts. Yeah, it gets rid of Roll. And I wonder if this thing is choice into uh, Aerial Ace. I wonder if this is choice man. And it seems like it. It seems like it. You KO'd me with that? Nah, that's wild. That is wild. Hey, I guess he's doing that much damage with Aerial Ace. GG's to our opponent. One and two for today's video. That last play was crazy. I knew Aerial Ace was going to do a big chunk of damage, especially if he was Choice Band, considering he was Stab, but I just did not think it was going to KO my Flutterman. I thought Flutterman was going to get another shot there, and if it did, it probably would have picked up the KO, especially if they did not Terrasalize. We would have just Moonblast, shot that thing down, say good game, wrap it up from there, because Flutterman was doing a ridiculous amount of damage in that Terror type. But hey, We'll take that losing record. One and two for today's video. Not bad battles all around. If you guys did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're not new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the spots every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.